Giannotti, attorney with Butler Kahn. Today I'm going to talk about an area of law that is less common in places like Atlanta, Georgia, but more common in coastal areas uh, such as our port of Savannah here in Georgia, and that's maritime law, uh, also called admiralty law. And the significance of this is um, depending on the circumstances of a particular case, if it involves a marine environment of some sort, and, and that may be a ship, uh, a port, dock, even some inland lakes or rivers if they're uh, navigable. Um, again, the point of this is depending on uh, the circumstances of that particular case, uh, whether maritime law or admiralty law applies, um, can affect, can significantly affect the remedies and rights available to injured people. So uh, if you or a family member have been injured or killed in connection with uh, some kind of marine environment like that, um, this could be a big deal for your case. So uh, the main point here is that maritime law is a, a unique and exclusively federal uh, body of law that is intended to have a, a uniform body of laws apply to essentially commercial shipping, right? So the idea again is that you have uh, ships going from port to port. Um, Congress decided it was important to have one uniform body of law to administer across all these um, types of situations so that you didn't have a situation where uh, different states' laws uh, might apply to a ship that is going to be moving all over the place all the time. Um, and, and those states' laws could conflict and just create uh, essentially a burden to a hindrance to interstate commerce. So Congress decided uh, many years ago that this was important, and this is what we have. We have a body of admiralty law or maritime law. So um, unlike other types of injury cases where different states' laws may apply depending on uh, where the injury occurred or, or other jurisdictional factors, admiralty or maritime cases are governed by federal law. Um, and although it is possible for some times for a state to have uh, jurisdiction, the state court is going to still have to apply this federal admiralty law. So again, for all intents and purposes, this is a federal body of law. And um, this affords workers who are on board vessels the law traditionally is called them seamen. Um, I will call them sailors uh, in an effort to be inclusive here uh, to many women who are in the uh, shipping industry, uh, merchant marines, and commercial diving, for example. Um, and again, the, the rights afforded to these sailors are specific to maritime or admiralty law. Um, so when, when you're on board a vessel, that uh, injured worker can have a claim against the ship owner based on uh, unseaworthiness or negligence. And these are rights that are not afforded by the common international maritime law. At the same time, that means that those folks do not uh, get the benefit of state workers' compensation laws. Again, this is an exclusively federal remedy for these folks. So state workers' comp laws is not going to apply to these folks. Um, now, on the other hand, you have uh, other types of workers who are um, dock workers, for example, uh, offshore oil or gas workers and contractors. These folks um, sometimes actually can recover under state law, state workers' compensation law, unlike the sailor counterparts, provided that those folks do not get a double recovery. In other words, they can pursue the state workers' compensation law, they can pursue their rights under the federal uh, admiralty law, but they don't get a double recovery. So there's a set off that the recovery is reduced uh, accordingly. So you're not going to get the double dip, essentially, if, if you're one of those folks. Um, and finally, there are other cases that may appear to be maritime in nature. Uh, our firm has, has one now, actually, that um, the, we briefed the issue of admiralty law, and then the court agreed that admiralty law did not, law did not apply. But it was a closer question than you might think. Um, 
and, and that's just because there are a lot of nuances to um, admiralty law and, and a lot of um, essentially jurisdictional tests that, that uh, the court has to go through to decide whether this type of law applies or not. Um, so there are some circumstances where, uh, let's say with commercial diving, for example, um, that can be done inland as well as offshore. It's a much easier call when it's offshore, but when it's inland, you, you, know, you have to look at these jurisdictional tests to decide whether state law or federal law or federal advocacy law applies. So um, what does this mean for, practically speaking, for you or a family member if you've been injured? Um, well, again, if, if uh, you've been injured in connection with a maritime environment, uh, marine environment, again, ship, boat, port, dock, possibly lake or river, et cetera, um, you should consult with an experienced lawyer uh, because there are many nuances to these laws and um, exceptions that can significantly affect the rights and remedies available to you for compensation for injuries or death, depending on the circumstances of your particular case. So um, we hope that you don't uh, need us, uh, but we are standing by. So um, thank you for watching. And again, if you uh, um, have specific questions for us, please give us a call. Thank you. Thank you.